Texas sends a new warning to the feds why the state may stop taking in refugees trying to escape war-torn countries. Texas is warning the federal government the state will soon stop taking in refugees. State leaders say it's all because of concerns about the way the federal government screens people coming into this country. It's a big deal because Texas takes in more refugees than any other state. Last year, Texas took in more than 7,600 refugees. That is nearly 11% of the total coming into our country. KXA's Lauren Kravitz spoke today to local professors who believe the governor is setting unrealistic standards. It's something most kids in the U.S. don't have to deal with, war. Even my nervous system is trying to deal with that sort of thing. Dr. Banafshe Madaninejad grew up in Iran when the country was at war with Iraq. She's now a U.S. citizen, thankful her own children didn't have to see what she did. I can't even imagine. As a professor of religion and philosophy at Southwestern University, Banafshe is disappointed with the state letter sent to the Office of Refugee Resettlement, along with comments by Governor Greg Abbott. The state says it will pull out of the refugee resettlement program unless the federal government approves Texas's refugee plan and ensures refugees don't pose a security threat. What? Governor Abbott is referring to is a standard that can't possibly be achieved. So I can't think of any process whereby we can guarantee that someone will not decide at some point to harm someone else. Both professors agree there needs to be a proper screening process, but not so strict that we're turning away refugees who truly need help. If we set the bar that impossibly high, who gets to count as people who need our care and deserve our care and deserve our help? Nobody. The state of Texas sees it differently, not taking chances to keep Americans safe. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. State of Texas says if the government does not respond to its plan by the end of this month, they will pull out of the refugee resettlement program, stopping all services in January. We want to give you a closer look at the differences between the federal and state plans for screening refugees. Refugees first have to apply through the United Nations, and then security officials with the State Department process the applications, including background checks and biometric screenings. That can take up to two years. If a refugee passes those checks, they are placed with one of nine national resettlement organizations. Local nonprofits contracted by the state get federal money to help the refugees learn English, find jobs, and find schools for their children. Governor Abbott's plan calls for extra safeguards. It requires the federal government to give 21 days notice before sending a refugee to Texas. It also says the state will only accept a refugee if the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security and the Director of National Intelligence can certify that person does not pose a terror threat. The plan also lets the state reject refugees if the governor believes they have not been adequately screened. You may recall that Texas sued the federal government to stop refugees from Syria coming into Texas. A judge dismissed that lawsuit, but the state filed an appeal last month. Governor Abbott's announcement that Texas intends to pull out of the refugee resettlement program comes just one day after President Obama called on other countries to step up efforts to help people trying to escape from war zones. The president spoke before the United Nations. He said all countries should take in people fleeing the fighting in Syria. We have to imagine what it would be like for our family, for our children. If the unspeakable happened to us. And we should all understand that ultimately our world be, will be more secure if we are prepared to help those in need and the nations who are carrying the largest burden with respect to accommodating these refugees. By next year, the president wants the United States to take in 110,000 refugees fleeing war.